Hi, welcome to CGY 750 for JR and Spectrum Guys, the governor menus. In this video, I'm going to try to show you how to use a governor with the uh, Spectrum DX7. Uh, the first shot is showing you how to set your DX7 up, and then I go into the governor basic and governor expert menus. Now, guys with 9 channel, 10, 11, 12 channel radios, you should be able to do a lot more. You should be able to control your aileron gain, elevator gain, maybe have a three-speed setup. You can do a lot with these things, but you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. The DX7 guys, I think I got this figured out. I haven't flown it in a real model helicopter, so bear that in mind. I'm going to hold down the select and scroll buttons while I turn on the radio. And then I'm going to press the up down key until I get to this screen right here. And you can see aux 2 is set to gyro. You can also set it to aux 2 and then you can change your speed by flipping the aux 2 switch. But I'm going to set it to gyro and we're going to control the governor speed with that. That's just something I'm playing around with. Turn off the radio. Turn it back on. And then I'm going to go into auto dual rate. Or not auto dual rate, gyro sensitivity. And I'm going to set that to auto. And then I can control my, my head speed by changing this value. It's not perfect, but I think it'll work. So, and then in normal mode, you can run the head speed at what would equal 84%. And then when you go into uh, stunt mode, you can run it at 98% or vice versa. In hold mode, it doesn't matter because uh, the governor shuts off and the engine goes to idle. All right, let's look at the governor mode, the way that I have it set up. Yeah, you know, there's all kinds of ways to do this, but this seems to work pretty well. Uh -oh. you're, I'm just going to go through the governor menu and uh, explain it. Yeah, right now RPM set 1902, and then if I go into idle up, it goes to 2067. Now, you, you can change the values in your gyro sensitivity screen, and you can also change them, fine-tune them right here. It's not like, say, it, you can look at it and see it's not perfect. but you can tweak it until you get what you want. There we go, 2100. And we'll set it to 1900. Now, uh, let's see, let's go to the gyro sensitivity rate and go to rate one and we'll increase that to 100 and then bump this up we're trying to get 2100 and 1900 so i'm going to go to rate zero and i'm going to turn that down there we go 1899 i mean that is close enough so that's how you set your rpm using channel seven uh, for the governor speed 
be sure to set your gear ratio look up in your manual see what it is or count the number of teeth on your main gear and divide it by the number of teeth on your pinion gear servo type be sure to set that i have a chart on my website under the support tab that uh, is labeled this uh, servo center pulse width uh, stick switch is where you set the governor to come on mine if i'm not mistaken is set at 31 percent so anything 30 percent or lower the governor's off and just put the stick where you want it to be and then hit the set switch let's try that let's put it at 29 percent okay so that's how you set when your governor comes on i leave this inhibited uh, I tried it with a switch for a while, but it just, it didn't work out. Uh, battery fail safe, that's where, what throttle setting you want it to be if the battery goes below uh, a certain voltage. In this case, mine is set to 3.8. Three point eight volts. Yaw compensation. I believe the default on that is off. So when you get here, it should be off. Go ahead, turn it on, and verify that your direction is clockwise and that the gyro sensor is mounted on top of the helicopter. If it was mounted underneath the helicopter and upside down you would put clockwise bottom but since most of us mount the gyro sensor on top we're going to set it like this anytime you mess with the governor and just this is a rule my rule not necessarily the way it needs to be when you get to the screen put your stick to low Put it in normal mode and hit this button. Then move the stick all the way to the top and hit it again. It just eliminates trouble. Put the stick in the middle. Go to test. Hit this button. Make sure that the throttle goes to idle temporarily. Hit it again and make sure the throttle goes to high temporarily. This is your uh, governor sensor sensitivity. It should read 96% if everything's working the way it should. Let me see if I can find a magnet here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now I'm just gonna hold this magnet up to the gyro. That's backwards. There we go. If you get the sensor within a millimeter of that magnet, it'll read 96%. And then it retains that value there temporarily. And that's the end of the governor basic mode. We're going to go into the governor expert mode. The work mode, I prefer rev limit. It just uh, limits the RPM of the engine and you set up a throttle curve so that without the governor, you'll be slightly above the limit. And in normal mode, I like to come off low stick and bring that throttle right up to uh, a fairly high value so that I don't get... Uh, a huge change when the governor comes on, in this case at 29% throttle. I like to display the rotor head speed. Uh, you can also display your engine speed if you want to. Response middle seems to work pretty good for me. 
uh, you can change that if you want to and try it out. Governor gain again, 40% works well for me, so I just leave it there. In your throttle mode, since I'm running rev limit, I leave it on transmitter curve. These values seem to work pretty good, so I just left them alone. And this particular screen shows your battery fail safe voltage. Uh, you can increase that or decrease it. I'm going to leave mine at 3.8. So if the battery goes below 3.8 volts, uh, the throttle will go to, I believe I set it at 25%. Unless you want to do this all over again, don't press this button. Press this one. That's the governor section. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is tail rotor. But if you discover that I've made an error in this video, and if you will email me, I'll make sure that that gets corrected. I'd appreciate that. Now let's go on to the tail rotor.